Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me today. This video is just a short one day reading. It will be two cards. One from the Oracle of the Dragon Fae. And the second card will be from the Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck. If you would take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And for the second card, I ask the divine energy of love to permeate the universe. Thank you. And bonds all in one. The guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. The first card for today, the Dragon Fae Goddess Tiamat. She's very impressive, isn't she? She's very striking. She's very uh, standing in her power and very sure of herself. Um, even though she has, you know, this dragon with her, he is more companion than he is uh, any kind of uh, protector for her. Um, she's she's impressive. <laughs> Let's see what Lucy has recorded for this card in the book. It's gorgeous energy. All that orange and yellow and green. You are stronger than you think. Tiamat says, I know who you are. I know the good of you, the multiplicity of you, and the incredible richness of you. I know what you have survived. I know what great lies have been told. I know how hard the path has been, how deep the despair, how savage the untruth. I am here to help you restore your own sense of glory, your own truth, your own shining self. The truth is that you are all things and all beings. You are magnificent, and truthfully, heaven is your mother, and earth is your mother, the sea is your mother. And the fire of creation is yours too. You are all these things. Star being, dragon kin, sea creature, earth dweller, and forest child. You are sea and salt, and wood and stone. And you are grander and more magnificent than words or thoughts can tell you of. Know that these Different parts of yourself naturally can dwell together. That there need be no war within, no conflict, no refusal to acknowledge all of who you are. I am here to tell you that soon you will come to understand the whole of who you are, and that there is no evil or darkness within you, only instinct and truth, all of which is right and innocent. Grow and begin to feel more secure in the truth that you, who you are is timeless, ageless, and has wisdom from far beyond this lifetime and far beyond this planet. The truth of who you are is beyond all of our imaginings because you are vast, powerful, and wondrous. I, who am the mother of this earth, tell you so and know you to be so. You are me, and I am you, and your capacity to become who you truly are is now a possibility. Do not be frightened by the power you feel within you. Know that this power is to be used for good, to assist, to love, and to create. You are an amazing being, an earthly, sensual being, a glorious body and soul entwined. I am here to let you know that you are eternal, beyond time, beyond space, beyond form. You are, and I am here to show you 
that who you are is of value to us of the stars, of the sea, and of the land. We support you, and we love you, always. What a beautiful blessing. Wow. Her divinatory meanings is recorded by Lucy in, in the book. The knowledge of the eternal nature of the soul. Be aware of your own soul's journey through time and space. Be aware that you are made up of galactic star material, earthly material, of the ocean and of fire. A time when others say things about you that are not only untrue, they are inspired by their own fear. Soon you will have recognition and a kind of rebirth and you will realize that you are a strong warrior, a spirit who can, a being whose spirit can never be vanquished, just as your complexity and brilliance can never be fully captured in words or images. Go on and recreate your life from this ending that seems hard to bear. What you go on to create will have beauty, genius, wisdom, and grace in it. You may face challenges in finding a home, or a construction or dwelling may, may not be going to plan. Build on and know that your plans will reach fruition for generations to come. In working with Tiamat, build something for you now and for generations to come. <sighs> wow. Consider the legacy you wish to leave for your descendants and for the planet and work from this place. Surround yourself with people who share your values and insights and learn more about what it is that you can do to stop others from being persecuted. Know that no matter what appears to have happened and no matter how tragic or disastrous it may seem to be, you are in fact strong enough not only to cope but to transcend the circumstances and rise again. You are greater than those who have hurt you and you no longer need to live with fear. You will soon be free, washed clean, and reborn to yourself. Never underestimate your own strength. Just quietly begin to build again. Whew. Wow. That was an incredible card there, Miss Lucy Cavendish. And my second card for today. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> almost the complete opposite energy of the dragon fae I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings forest frolic maiden <laughs> the colors are are identical the color schemes and the cards are identical um, this one has more brightness behind it, but they're, interestingly enough, wow, you know, you just can't plan these things. That's so cute. I love my life. Okay, I'm going to read what Kim Dreyer has recorded for the Forest Frolic Maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. Too often, everyday burdens and chores pull us down and prevent us from enjoying our lives. This card is a reminder to you to release the burdens of life and make time for fun, laughter, and play. Take yourself back to when you were a child and took joy in the simple things in life, a time when you had no cares in the world and would dance in the rain, climb a tree, or take your first exciting steps into the ocean. Your inner child never leaves you. She resides, or he, deep within you, yearning for the occasional release, for some freedom from the mundane. When you are feeling burdened or simply need a lift to your spirits, call upon your inner child. Allow her or him to flow out through your heart, sharing with you the memories and experiences of joy and freedom of play. Have fun with that beautiful child and revel in the pure bliss and innocence of their childlike merriment. So even in 
owning the strength in the core that, that runs through the core of our spirit and soul. Um, you have to have the joy, you know, and the fun. There has to be moments of, of lightness in spirit and air and intent in order to to make carrying on here, you know, more of um of a passion being followed as opposed to a task to be, you know, conquered or completed. This is a owning and a bringing into your life, a knowing and um, personal knowing of your your connection with the unity of the entire, you know, of the whole. And this here is, is enjoying the journey and the adventure that, that it is. And not only using this to, you know, make your mark and, and offer your legacy, but with the joy, it raises the vibration and brings the, the love, you know, and the, uh, the laughter. And here you see the, the butterflies. And it offers, you know, an ease and a grace in the transformations that, that you will be uh, going through. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day. Take time to... To enjoy you, you know, get in touch with what it is. Are you 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 really want to bring to this world? You know, little steps, little points, little marks. That's all it takes to get there. You're beautiful. I love you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again.